Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fort Mengs Emblem. We are back into a non-streaming format. <laughs> we streamed Chapter 5X live uh, on my birthday. It was a lot of fun. Um, a new patch has come out, and it has done some changes. Uh, we now have a, a stat window, or a background window. I, it might just be my colorblindness, but I find it a little bit hard to read the stats on this background, so I would appreciate it, possibly, if some changes were made to the colors. I don't really know what it is, but it's a bit annoying to look at, um, so maybe try another... Maybe I can actually change the background colors myself. I'm gonna go check into the menus. Also, we got some new backgrounds for the portraits themselves. Also, I have 13 con. They listened. They listened. I have 13 con now. That, that makes me a lot better. Because now I don't get slowed down, like, by a million points whenever I use an axe. So, um, also, uh, Claire's got a new portrait. This one is definitely an improvement from the last one. Um, the only, like, slight complaint I have about it is that it doesn't look like Claire's expression. She kind of looks hazy-eyed into the distance. I don't really know why, but it, it reminds me of Setsuna in a way. Uh, it doesn't really capture Claire's sharp attitude. She's a very sharp person. And, and she looks a little dreamy-eyed here, but aside from that, it's definitely better than the previous one. But I think maybe there's there's more improvements that could be made to it. I know it's a tricky process, I re and really, if it's tricky to do, don't waste time on it. This portrait is actually more than good enough, but yeah, I just felt like giving my comment on it. Um, so yeah, let us uh, jump into the next chapter. This chapter's a lot of fun. Um, this is by far one of the hardest chapters in the Sacred Stones early game, and I'm expecting it to be equally hard here, so... Mang suppresses his feelings of unease and continues to search for Mina. Passing through Dorcas, the group crosses into Scrubland. From here forward, there is no doubt that they are walking through casual territory. In hopes of avoiding unnecessary trouble, Manga and company head for a sparsely populated region of Scrubland. However, it is too late. Their movements are already being tracked. Chapter 6. Heavy Price Paid. <laughs> oh, that is fucking good. <laughs> it's Cold Steel, the Hedgehog. It's amazing. Oh my god, and Riss. Riss finally got a portrait now, though his eyes are, are squinting a little bit, or his eyes are... You know, that, that's that's a very common bug that happens. We saw this a lot in the PME. I'm not exactly sure what causes it, uh, but this happens a, a lot. It's a basic mistake when you make portraits. Uh, it's easily fixed, too, if I remember correctly. Anyway. <clears throat> so, tell me. You have asserted, uh, or you have ascertained Mang's whereabouts, have you not? Psh! I sent a few spies to follow the bull guys who fled Dorcas. Oh, speaking of Dorcas, I need to actually show his stats. I never did in the, in the previous episode. They told me that Manx and his goons will be coming this way shortly. My superb ambush is ready and waiting. There's no way they can defeat me. I shall paint my face with their blood. Kick, 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 kick. Very good. Our master will surely be pleased. Now about this Manx. I can assure you that he's a complete idiot. The real danger is his right hand man, Mekwa. Also, apparently Princess Lucina is traveling with their group. That is indeed a huge problem if the Avatar hears about this. Psh, do not worry. I will personally rip the princess to shreds and bury her body. Out of sight, out of mind, no? Also, I brought along a certain something that should negate whatever futile resistance they offer. Kick, 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 kick. Very well. Cold Steel the Hedgehog. Do what you must. Psh, won't you stay and see how I teleport behind them? Unlike two other layabouts I know, I do not have such time to waste. I have much to do for our master. A mountain of tasks await me. I'll leave this matter in your more than capable hands, Cold Steel. Psh, filthy backstabber. You should have watched. You might have learned a thing or two about <laughs> true edginess. I will butcher these wormins and I will replace you at your master's side. And then, I will teleport behind you. <laughs> oh no, there he is. Oh, it's... Kek <laughs> kek King Manx and Princess Lucina, I'm pleased to finally make your acquaintance. What? What? Who are you? Lucina, stand back. This thing is extremely dangerous. I've heard legends about this abomination. Oh, Princess, you're about as beautiful as I'd heard. As for you, King Manx, I see that you're wearing your silly bracelet. I suppose we should begin there. Would you surrender your trinkets? You're specifically asking for my bracelet? It can only mean that you're aware of its real purpose. Psh, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Once I present it to him, he will grant me the gift of an HD body. Now hand over the bracelet and I will leave you alive. King Manx, what is this creature talking about? 
Not now, princess. You there, monster. If you really want this bracelet, then come and get it. Psh, obedience will save you pain. You came all this way to aid Lady Mina, have you not? A fool's errand. The Latina lady fell before the Empire's might. As we speak, she wastes away in a cell in Renmal, awaiting her execution. You fucker, I don't believe you. Her retainers could defeat an entire battalion of scrubs with her with their hands tied. Psh, maybe I'm lying, maybe I'm not. That's for you to decide. But that's irrelevant now. I can clearly see you're not going to a quiz... I don't know how to pronounce that. In this case, allow me to present you the secondary objective of this chapter. <laughs> it's Walt! King Magnus, I'm sorry. Walt looks familiar. Isn't he a member of the world-renowned bard train? Oh my god, that's why he was a bard! You know, the royal musicians of Fort Manx? Now give me the bracelet. And while we're at it, hand the princess over. Unless you want this weakling and his friends to die. Slowly and painfully. Ah! Hold on a minute. The bracelet. I can understand. But what does this have to do with Lucina? She's an outrealmer. Let's just say that her presence here is not appreciated. But I promise you will take good care of her. Kick, 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 kick. King Manx, it's fine. Don't worry about me. Save the child. I refuse. I have no guarantee that you will truly set the bar train free. I could have accepted the trade had you not requested the princess too. Forgive me, Volt. I understand, my lord. I bear no grudge against you. Please bring this work to an end. Thanks, no! He's just a child! Ha! Guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way, then. As for you, my dear hostage, I fear you have no more use to me. Ah, such a waste. I could easily cut you down here and now, but didn't I promise you earlier a slow and painful death? Tell me, kid, have you ever heard of the giant spiders prowling about this region? They'd appreciate a nice hot meal, wouldn't you agree? Wait, you can't... Ah! Kick, 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 kick. This will be a delight. This fool will curse today they were born in Fort Mangs. How? How can you do such a thing? Why? Psh, this is war. There are no rules here. I can teleport behind people freely. As for you, princess, I can already tell it will be a pleasure to hear your screams while I slowly tear you limb from limb. Kick, 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 kick. Touch her and you die. Psh, huh? You made a great mistake. Now I'm angry. Really angry! Well, we, the people of Fort Manx, have always honored our peace treaty with the Scrubland. And you invaded without warning. You ravaged my land! You killed my people! Even then I told myself I must not hate the Scrubs. Indiscriminately. I refused to embrace my burning hatred, because that would have meant being no different from those who orchestrated this invasion. But now, just this once, I shall make an exception. Today there will be no mercy, no forgiveness. Today I will be your worst nightmare. Psh, you, you fool. Do you really think you can stop us? Cling to that false hope as much as you want. Your people will die as will you. Ow. Alright, oh my god, he's teleporting them around. <laughs> Psh, if you must, Astor! If you, if you must curse someone, curse your beloved king. I will see you in hell, monster. Psh, nothing personnel, kid. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> I guess this is it, hey? I'm afraid so. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's my fault we got captured. I refuse to give up so easily. I'm sure someone will rescue us. Alright, we got some memes to explain. Let's explain Cold Steel the Hedgehog first. We can't see him now. I'm guessing, I'm guessing he's over here, though. So, Cold Steel the Hedgehog, that's not one of my memes. That's a pretty old internet meme. Cold Steel the Hedgehog. I do tend to use the nothing personnel and teleport behind you memes a lot in my videos, though. Um, then, uh, this is actually an original. This, this, these are three members of my original bard train. Astor, Volt, and Sol for my first randomized Fire Emblem 6 Let's Play. I got a shit ton of bards that spawned the bard train meme. You may have seen it. Uh, it's part of, it's one of my, I think it's actually the first shit post I ever made. Uh, and all these members were, were, were part of it. I also think Chlorine was a dancer, and I do think I got yet another bard, if I'm not mistaken. I think there was a fourth bard in the Let's Play, but I don't exactly remember right now who it was. So yeah, that's, that's, that's hilarious. Anyway, I'm gonna do the battle preparations, and I'll be right back. Alright, so these are the units that I'm gonna be bringing. Lucina, Sluis, Sarah, Boswin, Othan, Manx, Claire. Agim, Mecha, and Bartra. Now, before we start, I'm going to show you guys Dorcas, because I forgot to show him last time. Here he is. Uh, he is a fighter, a level 2 fighter. 
his stats are decent for a level 2 unit. His growth rates are really weird. He's got a shit ton of strength and skill, really low speed, very high luck, and an insanely good resistance growth of 40%, which is weird. I guess it's because he's the son of Natalie, and maybe she's like a good magic unit or something. I don't know the justification for this one. He's a pretty weird unit. Um, he's sort of like the opposite of Barcher. Well, actually, they're both slow, uh, but he's got very high skill, I suppose, but he's less tanky than Bartra. Um, not really sure what to what to make of this guy. I really don't. I mean, he's like... I, I'd say Othan is better, because Othan can use the Puji. Uh, I don't really know. Um, also, uh, I brought a Torch Staff on Sarah. You can actually buy them in the shop prior to this chapter, which is kind of good, and I, for that reason, I don't really, really feel the need to bring Makoto at all. Um, and also, uh, I, I also noticed something funny when I opened up the supports. I can see that they're, they have actually started adding custom supports. Now, I don't believe that they're actually fleshed out yet, so I don't, I'm not sure if I want to trigger them, but as you can see, Mang's supports with Mecha, Lucina, Luis, and Claire, which is kind of funny. And Treating Eunice, I don't know who's, who's that guy down on the bottom right there. That kind of intrigues me a little bit. Maybe a bit of a spoiler. So it seems like, indeed, they have put different uh, supports uh, matching the units themselves, which is kind of funny. I like that. They're, they're making a lot of cool progress on the snack. So yeah, uh, let us just go. So uh, on the first turn right here, I'm going to be doing a bit of a, of a weird rescue drop. Uh, I'm, I want Mecha uh, on this tile right here, or was it here? I actually don't remember. I think, it's, I think I want him here because there's a Shaman that I really like taking out early. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, Mecha here with a Javelin. And then I'm going to rescue him with Ogim. Uh, and then I'm going to move into this tile. And then I'm going to make sure that they both uh, have weapons that are good. Yeah, I don't want a Javelin on Claire. I think I want her to use... And what's the best weapon of the Iron? Uh, the Iron Lance has more might on it. And then I would like Ogim to also have an Iron Lance on him. And then I'm going to drop off Mecha in this uh, route right here. Because there's a Shaman over here that, uh, if you can learn him on the first turn, makes the chapter a little bit easier. Because he's always a big pain in the butt, at least for me. Uh, and then I'm going to move Lucina up here, because there's some Cavaliers here that I want her to deal with on the first turn. And I think Luis will be a nice backup unit. So I'm going to put Luis here, so, or Luis here, so she can help out. Um, and of course, the Torch Staff is great, not only for experience, but it also illuminates the area and lets you see what, what's ahead. And on this chapter, there's a lot of enemies that can sneak up on you, so you gotta be very careful. Uh, also, when units level up in the new patch, they actually uh, ding faster, uh, which is interesting. I'm not really sure how useful that is. I also noticed that enemies are moving at full speed now, which is kind of funny. Anyway, I'm gonna send uh, Othin down here. Uh, there's some, gonna be some Cavaliers spawning from the back, so uh, Othin will be really nice uh, taking those down with the Puji. Um... Anyway, I'm going to move Bartra in here as well. I'm not sure how useful Bartra is in this chapter, to be fair. But yeah, as you can see, enemies are moving at max speed, which is kind of nice. Uh, it means that you don't... If, if you don't know, if you hold down the B button, then enemies will move much quicker. And it kind of speeds up the enemy phase. Uh, and now they just do that by default. So it just makes everything move faster, which is nice. I like that, actually. But yeah, putting uh, putting Mecha or, you know, Seth in the Manila game uh, down here in this position makes uh, the game a lot easier. At least this, this chapter a lot easier. Uh, let's see how Mecha levels up here. Ah, he gets skill, of course he does. Because you take down a lot of enemies that are key, but with the Javelin, I don't think Mecha will kill a lot of the guys, but he'll surely weaken them, which is going to be nice. There we go. And, of course, I'm going to send Claire over to the Bards. Um, in the vanilla chapter, you can usually just rush the boss, but I don't know how strong the boss is. I don't even know what class he is, to be fair, or if I can take him down easily, but I might want to go up and rescue the Bards. Uh, if the spider comes close to them. Normally you don't have to, but it's nice occasionally. Oh, this guy has a sword weaver, alright. Not sure if they've changed the compositions of the enemies, nice. Uh, or if the enemy have different equipment on them. It's kind of a bit deceiving because the soldiers and fighters look different. Um, but I do notice that they have changed up some of the enemies. Like in the previous chapters, there's some cavaliers with silver swords. I know for a fact that they're not there in the vanilla game. At least I don't think they are, because I'm pretty sure sacred stones do not throw silver sword calves at you in the early game. But yeah, Mecha's doing some nice tanking on the front lines. Ideally, you could also put him on the fort, um, but I think this position is nicer. Because if I remember correctly, there's going to be a shaman coming down there. But yeah, Lucy I decided to send Lucina up top because there's a lot of nasty cavaliers there, and I can also place her in the mountains, where she'll basically be unhittable. There's also that troubadour up north there with the men's staff, 
Uh, and that troubadour is really annoying if she gets into range because she starts healing them up and it's really fucking annoying. It's also really hard to hit her. Uh, and also something else I want to show you actually, something funny. Actually, yeah, you already know. Um, but some new tomes are going to start showing up. You did see them in the last chapter during the stream. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. He got a crit there. He actually needed that crit to kill the shaman. But yeah, taking him out makes this a lot easier. Um, it would be nice if those parts <laughs> danced for each other, but I guess that requires you to program the AI. But as you can see right here, that sets up a really nice player face on the second turn. But we can send Luis over here to... Uh, let's take down this guy. There we go. Um, over to the right here, there is a fighter that has a halberd. He's there in the vanilla version as well. Um, if, he, if he attacks you, he'll equip the halberd. But if you can kill him before he equips the halberd, you get the halberd. And that's always nice. It gives you a halberd in the early game. Not the best uh, effective weapon around. It's a little bit inaccurate, but it might be nice on, on uh, Bartra, for example. Manx and Othan has to have their Poojis which are really good at taking down cavalry, much better than the halberd, but... Ooh, nice one. Finally a good level up for Lucina. It's about time she got a good level up, holy shit. So, I think it's onion time. I'm contemplating whether or not I want to move Sarah into the forest. It's a little bit too close, but at the same time, she'll get some nice avoidance there. I think I'll just do it. There we go, just keep torching up. I don't plan to stick around with Claire. Um, I plan to send her down to the village, but let's take a look at the enemies over here. We got a guy with an iron lance, a soldier, got this guy with a men staff, poison axe. Hmm. I don't think we want to attack with mecha this turn. But what we can do is we can, um, we need to take down the soldier. Let's see how Boswin does. Uh, he does not double. I also need to feed more kills to Ogim. He's sort of underleveled right now, and that's not nice. Um... Does he double this soldier? He does not. I could put Ogim on the fort, actually, but if I do that, I risk the Halberd. The Halberd guy's in range of the fort, and he's very deceptive like that. Um, I guess I can take down... I need to focus on the mercenaries, I think, so... I'll attack... Oh, God, I should not have let him go on the fort. I, I, I guess what I can do is I can take this guy down with Mecha and not use the Onion. It's a possibility. I can use, like, the Silver Lance, maybe? Oh, wow, it's still not enough. Holy shit. You know what? I think I will. In the forest, none of these guys can kill them anyway. He took a lot of damage on the first turn, but... He should be tanky enough to not, not die to them now. Uh, oh, this is not great. Oh, actually, you know what? This works. Let's try this. There you go. Good job, Agim. So... Taking down the mercs is usually the hardest part. I know the armor knights are going to fall really easily to the Puji, so I'm not really worried there. Maybe I should go and fetch the village with Claire. I think it only gives an antitoxin, but... Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to give you a useless... I'm going to give you a useless antitoxin. Instead, I'll give you an absolutely useless short bow. No need to think. <laughs> oh, does it have 1-2 range in this hack? Please tell me it does. Oh my god, he's got 2 might. 10 crit, though. That's actually really cool. We'll teleport it up to... Uh, let's see if we can make use of it. I don't... I think I'm going to keep Claire here, because she's kind of injured. Um, that's hilarious. That's actually not a bad bow for, for Boswin, to be fair. Let's give it to him. Oh my god, it's a it's a one range short bow. It has no might on it though. Like oh my god, boss win doubles mercs. That is so cool. I guess we can trade it around to him though. Because the short bow, I mean it's a nice weapon for him. At least he can retaliate with it. Also, I think the reason why Bosswin is getting more experience. Nice. I think bow units on this hack get accelerated experience gains because they see less enemy face action. It would make sense, actually. It's not a bad change. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Look at that. I gotta be honest, I actually think that the Puji should not be effective against Armor Knights. I mean, it certainly is nice. It gives Manx and Othin an edge. But I think that it's too broken, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I think it's way too broken. Because, basically... Um, what it like? I think that the, they, we should stay true to the original source material. The Puji is already pretty broken on its own. It doesn't need to be effective against uh, Cavaliers and Armor Knights. So, 
While it is nice, I kind of wish that they would take it out. Because it's way too broken. It's gonna make this chapter a hell of a lot easier, though. Because it pretty much means that Manx and Othan can, uh, can one-shot the Cavalier uh, reinforcements that spawn. Aw, Othan! You actually needed a good level up there. Oh well. Oh, you're gonna fucking die. Especially considering the Puji has 10 might at base, so it's basically as strong as the hammer. It's a ranged hammer with more accuracy and crit on it. That's 1-2 range. That's pretty insane. Oh, Manx didn't level speed. Rip. Oh, we can see the boss is an assassin. Holy shit, the boss is an assassin. That makes sense, actually. But that worries me. Oh no, I got reaver tomed. <laughs> I got reaver tomed. Yeah, there's the, there's the troubadour. Okay, we can't see him anymore now. Um, okay, so if we want... I actually sort of want to see if I can see his stats. An assassin at this point of the game. That's brutal. There he is. Cold Steel, the Hedgehog. Oh my god, he's a level 10 assassin. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Known as the Hedgehog. Dreams of an HD body. And he has a Light Brand. Of course he does. Okay, I, I can never remember if Light Brands can crit in Sacred Stones. I know they can't in Fire Emblem 6. I don't think they can. Also, if he moves, I'm fucked. Because that's really scary. He's gonna get slowed down by his Iron Blade, though, and the Light Brand, so actually his speed is not 16. I I gotta check if they can if they can crit or not. I don't think they can. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Mecha here, just on the outskirts of that guy's range. And if I can kill him before he equips his Halberd, then that means I get the Halberd, and that would be great. Meanwhile, can... I really wanna see if, uh, if there's any enemies over here before I go in. I guess we can, uh, can we put Manx here? Is that safe? Let's just give him a, let's give him an iron, a hand, or a hand axe. And we can put, I know there's some effective weapons scattered around here somewhere. So I'm a little bit worried about sending her. I do remember there being some soldiers around here. So I am a little bit worried about doing this, but I guess it's fine. I guess I can send her, like, back here. I know there's not gonna be anyone attacking me from behind the mountains, but she has a torch on her, so she should be able to see past these guys and see. No, actually, it's already starting to burn out. Okay. Oh, well. Anyway, as long as I stay out of this guy's range, I should be fine. I actually prefer to, to go south on this map, because I think it's uh, safer. And then we can go uh, short bow. Although, maybe I should start sending Ulfin back. Anyway, let's murder this guy. We can just use an iron sword for that, I think. Yeah, probably works. Lucina and Luis makes a good team here. As long as they're both in the mountains, they're never gonna get hit. There we go. But what's the range on this guy, though? Yeah, I can't attack from there. I'm gonna have to go, go down here. Alright, here they come. Whoop. Sadly, Othan cannot use Steel Axes unimpeded anymore. Was a bit too strong. I just seem to remember there being a Rider's Bane guy somewhere around here. I'm not exactly sure, but I think so? Maybe I'm remembering wrong, but I just feel paranoid. Maybe it's the... maybe it's the Reaver guy that was a, that I killed. I'm not sure. But this map is nasty. It has a lot of reinforcements. Uh, that comes from all sides. Uh, this is actually one, I think, maybe next to the ghost ship, it might be one of the hardest vanilla maps. Oh, nice job, Barger. Might be one of the hardest maps in vanilla Sacred Stones. Um, ghost ship is a little bit worse, I find, but not by ma. Oh! Shit. And yeah, that's the stupid fucking healer I was talking about. I hate her. She's really hard to kill, too. Maybe not with Lucina, though. Okay, here comes the, uh, here comes the reinforcements. So this is where, this is where Othin starts going back with the Puji. Maybe together with Manx. Actually, you know what? I want to send Manx to kill this guy. I don't even need to use the Puji for this, so I don't think I will. There we go. But I'm not sure how far away the spider is, so I'm going to start sending Claire up now. She has the Blessed Lance, so she should actually be able to deal with it rather easily. Let's just torch the place up, see if we can find any... I seem to recall there being a knight here, but no, I guess he's dead. Alright then. 
Well, I think, honestly, Mecha might be one of the only guys that has a chance against the boss. I mean, oh, wow, Mecha does not double this guy. That's sad. So the question is, will he equip his Halberd or will he equip his Iron Axe? The Halberd does more damage, I think he actually will. So if I want to do this, I'm going to have to do this. Wait, does Bosswing kill him? He does. Holy shit. If he hits on both attacks, he will actually kill him. That's hilarious. Bosswing is too fucking good, man. He's, so, he's just so fucking good. He might even be able to take on the boss. Maybe. Halberd? Uh, could have given that to Bart. Actually, Bartra can still take it. Yeah, he can. <laughs> uh, I really want to give this kill to Ogim, but at the same time... Uh, oh, Devil Axe. I'm tempted. I'm not going to, but I'm tempted. But now I'm going to give this one to Ogim, and then I'm, I think I might just leave the fighter alive. Or I can kill him with Mecha, depending on my strategy. I don't think leaving him alive is really that big of a deal. Uh, Slim Lance... I guess I'll attack him from the forests. Come on, Agim, hit him. There you go. Good job. Agim apparently becomes pretty good if you, if you put uh, effort into him. He becomes a really good paladin. And considering I'm not using Nino, I definitely want a paladin on my team. Anyway, Sarah took some damage, so I gotta be really careful. Now I'm going to... Oof. I know there's Landscaps coming from this area, so I don't actually want to leave the mountains. I'm gonna use my Cena Falchion just to bring this guy down. Yeah, there's there's one of them. There, more of them will spawn. So I'm going to just stay in the mountains and use my Cena Falchion. The, the Cena Falchion will probably one-run them, so the healers won't have anything to heal. Can Sluis kill this guy? No, she cannot. She doesn't double. It's almost as if it's her gimmick. Um, I guess we can leave her in the mountains, though. But we need to heal up Sarah, and I'm not really sure where those uh, where those cavaliers are. I could potentially leave Sarah in the mountains. That'll give her some nice avoidance. I think I'm actually gonna kill this guy with Mecha. Oh, I actually need to use the Silver Lance if I want to take him down. Unless I want to rely on a crit, which I definitely don't. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'm going to put her... I don't know, should I? I feel like it's a scary thing to do. Because that might mean a cavalier can attack her, so... So yeah, I don't want to put her in range of the fighter either, so... Let's just do this. I think the cavaliers on the west spawn this turn, so I think they should be safe. For the time being. Alright, let's see how it goes. Should have equipped uh, an, a short bow and boss win. Feels bad, man. And the guy actually hit me with a poison axe. 35%. What the fuck? Oh shit. Ah, okay. I didn't think he'd be able to attack me. Guess I was wrong. Yeah, those calves always get me. Alright, but Othin should be able to one shot him. Yeah, look at that. Literal jab calves right there, dying. This will be some really nice experience for Othin. I think uh, there's probably branch promotions. I'm actually not sure how they're going to do promotions, but... Um, I'll probably promote Othin into a hero. Because that's... I, I'm guessing he can go hero warrior. But hero just is so much more fitting for him. But I'm actually not sure how they're gonna do promotions, and I'm really curious about it. Apparently someone on Fort Mine has actually played the hack and promoted Mines. Apparently I turn into a Manakit when I promote, but I think that's just a bug. I think they just haven't made a class for me yet. Um, let's see, alright, so, clear. Let's go up and find the spider. I think... Uh, should I burn another torch? Oh, fuck it, you get so many torches, there's no, there's no sense in conserving them. There it is. It only mo yeah, you got a lot of time in this map. A lot of fucking time. Anyway, let's go and deal with uh, Cold Steel the Hedgehog. I might send Manx back to help deal with the Cavaliers, actually. It might be some good experience. I don't think he has a chance against the boss anyway, so... Why not? This might be an easy kill for Ogim. Yep. Param. Actually, there's some mages up there. I should be really careful. There are some mages up north, I know. There's a thunder mage, I think, on this tile, so... I should be careful. 
Also, there. I also know there's. Uh, oh crap! Yeah, I know there's a thunder mage that might be able to attack me. So that's not great. Maybe I can trick him into going for boss win instead. We'll I mean, probably still go for Agim. Here we go. Ra -ba 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 -ba. Luck defense. All right. So what is? <laughs> I think we're just gonna get Sarah out of there. At the same time, I really want to leave her on, on terrain, but um, I really, really do not want to deal with those calves. Let's see, Sluis has Pepsi Max on her. Mm, maybe I'll just rescue her with Mecha. I could eat an onion too. Actually, that might be, just be the best thing to do. I mean, it's only two two extra hit points I got from that, but still, I think it's probably for the best. Anyway, let's get this healer down, so she doesn't run around healing up anymore, guys. There we go. And uh, we got an onion, nice. <laughs> we gave away an onion, we got an onion. Sweet. Alright, hopefully there's no more calves in range of Sarah, I guess we'll, we'll see. Poogie, poogie, poogie. Down goes the cat. Right, Ulfin should be able to deal with all those reinforcements. I think the worst is over. I think we've dealt with most of the scary enemies at this point. Yeah, there's the Thunder Mage. Oh my god, 2% crit. Please tell me that's the only guy. Please tell me that's the only guy. Uh, okay, that's the only guy. Thank god, holy shit. Alright, let's uh, light up the area. I think Mecha might be able to attack Cold Steel on this turn. Uh, there he is. Mm, not on this turn. Actually, yeah, he can. Ooh. Tempting. I think I might go for that. Anyway, can Clear deal with this guy? Uh, ooh. This guy is kind of scary. Maybe, um... We can let him attack us. Does he poison? I guess he does. Yeah, he does poison, but it's not gonna kill me from poison, because he's gonna do 12 damage to me. I think that's fine. Um, let us see. What if we attack with Bosswind Fur? Wow, Bosswind actually does. We can actually kill him on this turn. Because this guy gets weighed down so much by the Iron Blade. Yeah, I think I might do that. This guy's gonna be a bitch to hit. And he needs to die this turn. And I don't have any healing for Argim, except for Onions. So, yeah, I think I will actually just kill him this turn. I think that's exactly what I'll do. Are really all the calves gone? I think they're actually gone. Of course, there's a chance that I might not hit. Um, wait a minute, I thought Mecha doubled that guy. I guess... Wait, what? I swear to god I thought Mecha doubled that guy. I guess I was wrong. Um, but 13, no, it's actually not enough. Unless Ogim gets the kill. No, he doesn't, he doesn't reach. He does, okay, so I can't do it this turn. Uh, I'll need to kill this guy now. Mm -hmm. Does Mecha have range on the guy? Ooh, this is gonna be nasty, actually. This is gonna be really nasty, holy shit. Ah, uh, whoops. Do we just try to get a crit, maybe? Or do we go for the Mordana? I think the Iron Bow is what we want here. Because I think Ogim might be able to kill him. But then again, Ogim is really low. Oh, shit. That's not good. That is not good at all. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Impossible! <laughs> oh, he crit! Holy shit, he actually- oh my god, he crit. Please tell me you're- oh no, that means- Wait a minute, that means Ogim can get the kill. Holy shit, that means Ogim can get the kill. Alright, can I just devil axe this guy? No. Well, I can try- oh my god, I actually can. But if I- if I- no. No. Okay. <laughs> this is so dumb. Alright, fine. You know what? We'll kill him with Ogim. He'll, he'll need to hit, though. If this is a miss, then it's a restart. There you go. Thank you, finally I can die in peace. He looks really good. It's a top quality palette right there. Hit points, strength, skill. Eh, that's a good level up. Would have preferred speed, but it's fine. Volt, as to her soul. Are you guys alright? 
Ah, King Mangs, I'm glad to see you. My lord, thank you so much for saving us. Thank you, as I said before, I don't bear any grudges against my king. In the end, everything worked out just fine. Take this and use it for the good of the country. Chorus Vault would give us an Orient's Vault. <sighs> Makes sense. Ooh, I wonder if Boswin can use that. Those guys weren't scrubs. Huh? Explain. The scrubs worship Lucina like she's a goddess. They would never kill her. Incapacitate? Incapacitate? Probably, but killing her never. That actually makes sense. Who are these worms, then? I have no idea. However they are, it's clear that they might be working alongside the Empire. Also, they want the princess dead. And your bracelet. Nah, goddammit! What the fun is going on here? There is another matter we need to address. The people of nearby villages confirmed that the words of that creature. Apparently, a few days ago there was a huge skirmish near Castle Renwell. Rumor says that Lady Mina has been defeated and thrown into the dungeons of the fortress. Knowing this, what is our next move? Those guys wanted my bracelet at all costs. There are four people in this world that knows its true purpose. One is me, then there's you and Mina. The fourth one died in front of me a long time ago. Oh shit, I got a tragic backstory. I'm afraid this means they obtained this knowledge by torture. Then it's true, they defeated Mina for real. Fuck. Mecca, gather the troops. We're going straight to Renval. I don't care if it's a trap or not. I'm going to tear these fuckers a new one, I swear it. I know what you're going to say. I know what, that I did, what I did was somewhat cruel, but I had no choice. They wouldn't have released the hostages, and they, they would have murdered you. I could have probably surrendered the bracelet had your life not been thrown into the mix. A bracelet can be stolen back, a life cannot. Being a king and a leader means that usually there's no such thing as an easy choice. Hell, sometimes there isn't even a choice. You of all people should understand that, princess. By gambling with your life, I would have doomed my world to a war with your outrealm. Wanna know why? Because I'm willing to bet my family jewels that these guys have planned from the start to report your death to your father. And blame me for that. Also, let's not forget that those bastards weren't even scrubs. If the scrubs knew that Princess Lucina in Flesh and Blood was fighting against them, they would start second-guessing their motives. Or they would think a thousand times before raising their weapons against you. That's why that worm said that your presence wasn't appreciated. What if I managed to speak with their leaders? Why didn't we try to speak with the soldiers in Dorcas? I'm afraid that's not an option at this point. We have no means of reaching them. Besides, we don't know who gave them all the orders in the first place. It could have easily been the newest scrub avatar, for all we know. As for the skirmish in Dorcas, I must admit that I didn't think about it. My apologies. I'm sorry too. For what? It's not your fault. I mean, I'm sorry I behaved so aggressively after you decided not to bargain with the monster. While I was fighting, I remembered something. Many years ago, my father found himself in a similar situation. He had to make a choice between a powerful artifact and the life of someone dear to him. What did he choose? His sister decided for him and paid the price. You're right, King Mansk. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have a choice at all. Sometimes the only thing you can do is damage control. I've always been an idealist. I've always believed I could solve all of my problems if I was strong enough. Tell me, Manx, are heroes brave or naive? I don't have an answer right now. I'll see. I'll just go pack my stuff. Forgive me for doubting your judgment. Wow, oh, the slack is getting serious. I missed the memes. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the fact that they're actually trying to build a narrative into this, but I, I also think that this hack... It started off not taking itself very seriously at all, and then it sort of has started to delve into a more serious direction. And it's not that I don't like it, I think that having a little bit of heart in, in the memes is definitely nice, and if this boss goes complete shitlord meme mode, and has no seriousness at all to it, it can also get a little bit stale. You gotta strike a little bit of a fine line between the jokes and the humor and the story. Right now, I feel like it's going a little bit too much in a serious direction, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I kinda liked it a little bit more in the start when it was just sorta joking around, but it had a little bit of a story to it, but it wasn't too serious and it was mostly about the jokes and memes. Now it's actually sort of building a story and I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm torn, to be fair. Uh, one side, I'm actually not minding the story at all, I think that it's sort of intriguing, but because the hack starts out with a very jokey atmosphere and then goes into seriousness, it kind of feels a little bit odd. It would have made more sense if it went the other way, maybe? I don't know, or maybe not at all. Uh, I'm not really sure how to locate my thoughts right now. I'm probably gonna think a little bit over it and maybe talk a little bit about it more in the next part. But do let me know what you guys think. Do you think this hack is sort of taking itself a little bit too seriously right now? Would you like it to go more into a meme-tastic direction? Or do you actually appreciate the story that it's trying to build? Um, 
And do you think that maybe it's a consistency issue or, or what is it? Uh, I'd, love, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. And I'm sure that the developers are also very interested in reading your feedback. So do let me know what you think about the story and where the snack is going. And if you like it or if you don't like it. I'm not too sure if I like it right now. But maybe I need to just think on it a little bit. Also, I'm curious to see where, where, where it goes next. So yeah, give it a like and a comment. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.